Hey guys, my name is Nibiri and it's time for another Thin Saturday and today I'll be giving you some feedback on the track I got sent in. Because I got quite some tracks sent in, I'm gonna cut it up in two parts. This one right now and the next one's gonna be next week and we're gonna do the rest of the tracks uh, during that video. So well, let's just start listening and I'm gonna freestyle this and see what I think of your tracks. I can't really understand the vocal right now. It's just, it's a nice atmosphere, but I don't really understand the vocal. So that intro is nice. I like the real um, change of the vocal into the stutter and then going into that um, intro. And the first kick is quite okay. The till is nice and the first punch works with it. But then when you switch into that second punch for the second half of the um, intro, it just really doesn't fit with the um, kick. I would just try uh, changing the pitch of that punch or just make it fit a little bit better with that till. Um, just the idea of the intro is nice and well, let's just keep listening. I like the melody. The Like I said, the atmosphere that you put down for the break is quite nice, but I would really just put that vocal a quite bit louder um, so it's understandable because right now the only thing I can hear is Unshakable and that's because this track is called Unshakable. Um, so yeah, the melody is nice and the synth is okay, but it really lacks some mids and has way too much high. So when you're gonna make this melody or when you want to try and make a new synth for this melody, first focus on that top lead and having the top lead in the uh, middle, supporting that with some support leads for that top lead. And then after that, you want to add some chords. And right now I'm just hearing too much highs and too much chords. So it's a really imbalanced lead. Um, the kick in the uh, drop is okay. It's decent, but because the um, leads aren't that well balanced it doesn't really fit with the um, leads itself but that's okay and that just comes um, with some experience i'll just listen to the rest of the track and i'll give you some uh, feedback on that final part
So for that outro, it's nice and you keep that uh, right atmosphere for your break, but I would add some percussion in there so that it has a little bit more drive and maybe cut it a little bit shorter because um, you don't change too much in that breakdown or the bridge to the final part. Um, so you might want to cut it up or maybe add some percussion, like I said, so it feels a little bit uh, faster. And the last part when you're um, switching it to another key, that sounds nice. So on to the next one. This is Show Me The Light by Extra Limits. So there's a lot going on right here and I really love that atmosphere that you're putting in here. Just a, a large feeling, the uh, nice reverbed hits from that um, brass section I think it is that just really works. The melody, the theme you're putting down is really nice and the kick, as you might have seen by my bass face, it fits. But I do feel you could distort it a little bit better, maybe make it a little bit more balanced. Um, with a bit less sub, I think. Let me just check again. Yeah, it's quite subby right now, so maybe take that down a tiny bit and add some extra, extra distorted layer, so that it just feels a little bit more um, full. Also, the second uh, kick, I would just try to apply that same process, just adding a new extra crunchy layer in there. And, but it, yeah, it just does sound nice. This sounds like a, a quality ID at least. So let's just listen to the rest of the track.
again, there's a lot of stuff going on. And I just want to take a little moment to say that I really like this um, kind of drum and bass with the snare going on. That's just nice and it builds some nice drive, especially here when you sidechain some sounds to the um, kick. That just really sounds nice and it builds the um, drive that this little break needs. Um, but I do feel the leads are a kind of lacking. I would again suggest that um, you really focus on that top lead and it's in there, it sounds okay, but focus on that top lead and make that sound strong and then support that with some other layers behind there. And right now it sounds um, quite big, but it still has a little bit too much highs and really doesn't have the body that it needs. Um, I do hear quite a lot of reverb on there, so that's okay. But I think that when you're just um, taking away the layers again, focusing on the top lead and really putting that in front and then um, putting the chords behind there and then putting the reverb on there, you can really um, yeah, build just a little bit of a bigger sound. Also the snare over here is just a little bit harsh. There's some really interesting modulation going on and I have respect for that. I just wouldn't be able to pull this little part of by myself. I just don't have that amount of knowledge on the uh, theory side of music to just make that change in uh, chord progression and switching that melody. So that's really nice and I really love the concept that you're putting down. Um, the kick that you're putting underneath the melody sounds okay, but I feel it could just be distorted a lot more and... Um, Maybe when you're um, distorting it completely, it's going to get a destroyed low end again. Adding a new warm layer in there can really just uh, pull stuff together again and um, will make it a lot more powerful. The sound of the kick is um, all right. It does fit with the melody, so that's good. But I do feel it's just a little bit lacking in power. Um, the quality of the ID really is nice. It would just uh, need a little bit more refinement on the sound design. Next we got Change the Mind. I actually do think these kicks are quite okay. Um, 
but I do feel it would need a little bit more um, better quads and of course a real target where it's going from. This is more of a beginner track and that's okay because I want to give feedback to everyone no matter where you are at your um, journey into making music and what I feel is that you want to have the title change the mind well that's okay but then you gotta um, maybe make a little goal that you want to go for so say you want to use one of these particular kicks for this track the kicks are actually decent but then make a little build up to that um, kick and make that kind of drop as um, complete as possible and then just have it have another little break because right now i'm just hearing um change the mind and it switches into a uh, drop without a real um layout for the track so maybe as you can see with the other um guys we send in something which we already listened to you really have this structure for here we have the break then we have the build up then we have the drop and you might want to try that for yourself. So, okay, change the mind is the topic. So uh, we're gonna make a break that characterized that change the mind topic. And then we have this little break for here, exa for example. Then over here, we're gonna have the build up. Then we're gonna have the drop. Just really try to break it down a little bit because that makes it a little bit more understandable for the um, listener. Uh, that said, I do think the kicks are Okay, they need to be distorted a lot more, but the best quality of this whole um, track is in the kick itself. It's a really good start on experimenting with your own sound design. And the final one we got is For You by Noise Freaks. I really like the snappiness of that uh, punch and the tail sounds okay, but it does have a little bit too much sub. But I do feel that the sounds that you're putting over that um, kick in the intro need a lot more reverb. And it's the same for that little break over here. You got a nice summer setting that you're putting down and I love it, but it just needs more um, reverb. Right now it's really dry. And maybe for these... Uh <laughs> For the little stutter tap tap tap, maybe for the um, intro that you want to distort that a little bit. So it sounds a little bit more gritty and a little bit more hard style. But that's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, it would just need a lot more reverb. But I do love the concept till now. I like this atmosphere again, the vocal is okay. Maybe put it a little bit louder, but that's just my opinion. Um, the whole filtered uh, percussion in the back is nice as well, but again, it needs some more uh, reverb, especially these nice long hits with the, uh, I think it's snares or snaps. Um, they can really need some more, they can really have some more reverb in there. So it just sounds a little bit more um, like a huge atmosphere that we're listening to.
it sounds really nice. I really love this lead sound and the melody is just spot on if you ask me. Um, the kick and the melody itself, the sound do fit and they have the right sound for each other. But I, um, apart from changing that and having a little bit less sub in the kick, um, the lead again needs some more uh, reverb. It sounds nice and balanced. You got a nice top lead in there. Although I would maybe add a little extra LFO on there to make it move a tiny bit more. But um, the lead sounds okay, but it just needs a lot more, um, a lot more reverb. Also, I'd really just pull these uh, plugs a lot more in front because it, uh, the, plug are in, the plugs are in there, but it doesn't really sound that uh, up front, so it doesn't really fill the space. Okay, so I like the little detail in the ending over here with just the little atmospheric sounds, the uh, kids playing in the background, that sounds really nice. But um, for this final half of the track, you're kind of losing my interest by adding this hardcore uh, part because I really don't feel that this um, track would need that hardcore or faster um, bit because I do like the melody so much, but it doesn't really fit the melody in my opinion. Um, over here the switch of rhythms is quite nice and um, it works but it would need some extra sounds to make it a little bit less empty but i think that when you're um, trying to rebalance this break a little bit and putting that uh, plug a little bit more up front then you're gonna have a lot more um, fullness in your breaks already and just put a lot of reverb on the sounds that don't have it yet because right now it's just a little bit too dry now I hope you liked this video and you learned something from this. Do you want me to uh, give you personal feedback on your own tracks? You can always send it to my Instagram and once I got enough tracks I'll make a video giving you some personal feedback. Now hopefully I'll see you back soon again. Cheers! <laughs>